Now, there is a debate tonight on whether convicted youth offenders should be allowed to go on supervised community outings after a 17-year-old allegedly raped a woman near Onsen Stadium. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. That teenager is from Washington County. KZI 9 News reporter Chinu Her joins us live in Eugene to tell us about similar programs in Lane County and if the list of outings should include football games. It's our top story tonight. Chinu? Well, Matt Renee, the 17 year old was at Autzen Stadium on Saturday for the Ducks football game. Tonight, he's at the Serbu Juvenile Center. Now, he came down as a part of a program through the Washington County Juvenile Department. Here in Lane County, there are similar programs at the Juvenile Justice Center, and counselors say socializing through these social events can help troubled youth. After Washington County's Juvenile Department confirmed 17-year-old Jaime Tinoco arrested for allegedly beating and raping a 39-year-old woman in Eugene Saturday, talks have turned to the program he was a part of, which brought him to Lane County for the Oregon Ducks game, considering his criminal past, which includes probation for possession of meth, burglary, and harassment. And if that would really be a good influence for 12 youth, who have criminal records and if that was really a smart decision on the juvenile departments. Here in Lane County, similar programs exist for troubled youth through the Lane County Juvenile Justice Center. It's really helping them to be able to um, enter a workforce, have a supervisor, show up on time, really teach them job skills. Amy Hill is a juvenile counselor with youth services in Lane County. She says although they have 16 beds to hold high-risk youth, a big part of what they do is to help kids learn how to become community members. Well, in order to do that, we need to have a number of programs that have kids living in Lane County participating, whether it be in school, in work, in a community service setting. She says adding supervised pro-social activities, such as going to a football game, into the lives of the youth can help them reinvent the way they think about being a community member. We want to be clear that that um, even though community protection is our main goal, that we achieve that through a number of different avenues. And one is allowing young people to invest themselves in their community and the safety of it. Now, we reached out to Washington County's Juvenile Department earlier today, but they didn't return our calls. Tinoco is back in court on Monday. Live in Eugene, Chinu Her, KZI 9 News.